everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depends on where you are watching from. I welcome you once again to my channel. This is Julie Station. And in today's video, I will be showing you how I make my authentic Ebusi soup. I've made one video on Ebusi soup in my channel. And in that, when I was making that video, I, I, I said I have different methods of them making a goosey soup and that was one of my methods so today i'm going to show you another method i prepare my goosey soup i know you're gonna love this method so let me introduce to the ingredients that i'll be using in making this um, soup but before that please if you are watching me for the first time please don't skip this video without subscribing try and press the subscribing button and to get every notification of any video and upload thank you now here are my ingredients that we'll be using in making my egusi soup for today so i have the beef meat stock fish and dry fish shaki and cow skin which is normally not as a momo then i'm still using a medusa fish type of medusa i'm adding it to it because I don't have enough um, fish, dry fish, so I'm adding that to it. So this is my egusi, my crayfish, and bitter leaf. The bitter leaf, I'm just, I'm not adding the, the dry bitter leaf. I'm going to wash it and I need just the bitter, just the water, but I'm not using the leaf. I'm using only this um, fresh dash for it. And this is the chicken uh, bread, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it I am grinding it and add it to the egusi so that is why I told you I'm going to show you how to make my authentic egusi soup because I will be blending it and then to add to the to the egusi so let's get started now I just held my meat inside the pot I've washed it so I want to cut the shark into smaller pieces and also add this to See, they are clean. I've washed them before. I've washed them. Just want to cut, cut it to the size I want. Them. Um, these are the meats that I'm going to use in the in making of the soup. So right now, I'm going to have seasoning to eat. So I just want to have a little water to it. Little water because I don't need much water in so Okay, so 
now. Let me start the grinding of the egusi. I'm washing my egusi. Okay, egusi, they are always dirty. So I'm just washing it very well. So I'll be having some coming up to it. going to grind my chicken I'm going to grind chicken this one is the chicken breast very soft so I'll be hiding it to the juicy so I'm cutting it into little pieces then I'll grind them I told you I'm going to make authentic juicy soup you need to test this in this after cooking it. Very delicious. So is our plant. So I'm having little water to it. chicken breast as you can see this one is the chicken breast okay. 
So now I'm going to I'm going to grind my pepper. I've washed them. As you, you see, I've already removed the seeds. I wash and cut it, so I don't need to wash it anymore. Just to remove only this edge. I'm going to grind this the crayfish all together. Then I'll start the cooking of my of my my soup. I'm going to add some onion. So this is the preparation. I'm holding it to it. So here yeah, is my abenero pepper. The red pepper, crayfish and onion. So I want to grind it. Then I start to the cooking of my So now I've finished grinding my my pepper. So right now I'm gonna start to wash this. Wow! So this is my this is my pepper and the chicken. So I'll be adding this to this later when I want to start the fry but not now so right now let me control my meat but now I'm going to start the frying in another pot so I think I will be needing some space in this gas so I just added a uh, palm oil inside the pot, so I just I want it to get hot so that I can start the frying of the of the soup. So right now I want to have my stock fish inside this meat. I just want it to go a little bit, because I'll still take them out. So just allow this one to beat. Then I start to fry. Now I want to slice the onion. This one is my this, and this one is the chicken breast and then to cook. Okay. So. okay, now the oil is hot, and I want to have my onion. I'm going to have my, my pepe inside it. So, and I'll allow it to get, I'll just allow it to fry, to get dry if I put in the, the goosey and the chicken stock. So, just watch. So, let me just give it 10 minutes. The new one, I want to control my meat. And help it. I think it's okay like this. I'm going to. I think I will change the gas so that this side will will burn fast because it's a big gas. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm boiling my bitter leaf. Like I told you, I'll be needing the the water. The bitter water from the, this bitter leaf. I'm not using the bitter leaf, so I just want to boil it so that the water will come out. Then I will filter it out of it. I'm not using the leaf. Okay, turn this one over. I just want to use only the fresh spinach. On it. Okay. Use water. So I'm going to allow this to to fry for about uh, 
and I just want it to get dry, the water to get dry to fix so I will, I will leave it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes we we'll continue the cooking. I'm about to fry my beef simmer. This one is the, the stew. It's ready. So now I want to add my Chegusi. This one is the chicken breast. So I'm going to mix both of them together. Hope you, are, hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to mix them together. Then I think I, I should still. And I'll stick. This my juicy is one in time, very authentic. You need to try it, eh? You need to try it. Very rich. So here is my egusi and onion and the chicken bread. Wow, you can see now. So I'm going to add it to the pepper. That is to the stew. It's very, very delicious. Right, so I wish I can put it so that it don't look fast. So I'm just allowing it to get fried. Allowing it to get fried. To fry, so. I don't want it to get burnt, that's why I'm using this pot to make it. I don't want it to get burnt, so I want to return it. So, you can see my egusi is just falling. Wow. You see how it is, and I don't want it to get on. That's why I'm just keep stirring it. I'm just stirring it because I don't want it to get on. I want it to be done before I start adding the, the other ingredients to it. This is the bitter leaf. I've already boiled it, but I'm not going to use the leaf because having this bitter leaf inside this soup is going to stay my my soup. So I just want the water, and I'll put my spinach. Oh. As you can see, the oil is coming out from the the juicy so it's time for me to add in the meat stock and the it's, it's time for me to add in the meat. Then now let me start adding the boiled meat to it. I don't need much water and I don't want anything that will stop this nice because it's authentic even though if everything finished today there's no problem so that this is how I want to this is how I want to eat it so okay I'm still going to have meat
So now I'm going to wash that dry fish and put it inside too. So right now I'm going to I'm going to have the the water of the tallow. Like I told you, I'll not be using the leaf. I'll be having only the water just to have the bitter crisp. Because I don't want this pieces with a little bit so I'm going to stain it. So now I'm going to allow it to cook. Let me test it if I still need to put some seasoning. Italy is okay like this. So let me allow this one to I think I should have some meat. This right here. I don't want it to be too much. I don't want to eat meat like that. No, the, the, the children will just abandon the meat. They don't want to eat meat. Oh, she is. I'm still going to have fish to eat, so it's okay. Now I'm going to cover this one and allow it to, to fry. Meanwhile, I'm washing my vegetable. I already sliced it. So this one I'm going to steam it to bring out the water so that there will not be more water inside the soup. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add it inside the box. Wow, the soup is almost ready. So now I'm going to add my fish to it. And I've already, I steam the vegetable because I don't want them to be, I want the water to, I don't want the, the I don't want the soup to, to be watery. So I have to pack well the vegetable a bit so that the, the water I need to come, I need the fresh one. So now I'm going to take out the water.
just look at it. Tell me. Wow. So, everything is okay. I just, the, the soup is second. Okay. I just want it to go for five minutes and I'll take it out. So subscribe to my channel, share my videos, like my page. I mean, like, give me thumbs up, please. Because this authentic egusi soup is not for nine months. Finally, I'm done with my cooking for today, and this is my authentic egusi soup. Wow, it's so yummy. I wish you are here to have a taste of it. In fact, I want you to, to try it at home, and, and then you know what I'm talking about. It's so delicious, so tasty. You want to eat more soil, even though you are on diet. So, I thank you for joining me today. See you next time in my next video. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, try and subscribe. And always give me a thumbs up if you like the video, if you like the way I prepare it. Try and give me a thumbs up and try also to share my video. I love you. God bless you. Bye. Ciao.